here who just made honestly what seemed like quick work of Bradley the Rainbow Essex. Is there anything that you did or expected from Bradley Essex tonight? I expected him to go for the takedown right off the right out of the gate. He, that's exactly what he did. Stuffed his takedown. I hit him with a nice solid knee. He went down, took his back. We are naked choke is the end of the story there. All right, so when you were getting ready for this fight, you, you were working a lot of takedowns. Is there anything you did different in your camp, just more wrestling or? Just, we, did, we concentrated on uh, takedown defense. Um, I noticed in a lot of my fights that um, it, it's not as strong as it needs to be. And that's something we wanted to work on this camp. And we knew we were going against the guy who was going to challenge that. All right, well, um, is, there, is there anybody you'd like to fight next, you know, here at Fight Lab? Here at Fight Lab? I mean, I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to fight for the belt again. You want to fight for the belt? The well, you know it's up, it's up for grabs again, and then the winner of that's going to get Mr. Jason Lineberg. All right. So you're in a little bit of a line. Is there uh, anybody you'd like to thank? I need to thank all my sponsors. Nikki's Tattoo. She did some great work on my leg right here, if you want to check that out. Carolina Bell Bonds. Plus Salon takes care of my hair. Uh, am I forgetting? Highest in IMB, Dime Boxing. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anybody else. Do you? Do you have the uh, the number to your stylist? Because you do have actually gorgeous hair. Plus Salon, guys. Plus Look salon. it up online. It's in uh, South Park area. Jay Cruz. Call Jay Cruz. Jay Cruz. All right, buddy. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You did work tonight, sir. You have a good night. <laughs>
Lou, the whole, uh, the whole family. We're pretty much family. It's all family. I'm gonna thank family. There we go. Family and God. That's can we it. Get, can we get a big peace sign right here? Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. All right, I'm here with Big, Big, Mr. Davis. All right, you've got to be happy that you walked away with the decision. Very right? happy. I uh, just kept working. He was a tough opponent. Got to give Ryan Curtis props. He kept coming. Hit him a couple hard times, and he, he was tough. Couldn't really finish, but just prevailed. If you had to, if you had to guesstimate, how many hard shots do you think you hit? I hit him about ten times. About ten times. Well, I hit him hard. about about five or six good shots, and. I, I really hurt him, I think, with some knees. He got some real good knees. Were, were you kind of shocked he kept coming back? Did you well, he didn't have no, I don't really think it was a much of a choice because oh, I, yes! I feel like I dropped him that Let one time. <laughs> that one time, anyway. And then I think he just had to keep coming forward. So, I, like I said, I got to give props to him. Well, uh, you, he kept coming, so you, it's you awesome. got some fans here in Charlotte, apparently. Yes, sir. So, uh, so is there any anything you did different to get ready for this fight than yeah, other change fight? camps. You changed entire yes, camps. Where, where do we come uh, from? Where do we go? I was at a place in Mount Holly called Team Rive. I kind of went different ways, and then I joined up with Team Renegade, and the rest is history. You feel like you feel like that upped your game a little bit? It helped my game tremendously. Thank uh, Coach Philip Wills, Big Daddy Ricky Rainey, Zach Klaus, all the guys that helped me. Get ready for this fight. Thank you, and I'll be back in March, hopefully. All right, I've got a question. Yes, sir. Can I get a piggyback ride off camera? No. No? No. You're that tired. It's time to go celebrate. No, time I'm not tired at all. Celebrate. I'm well, ready to do three more You be careful tonight, buddy. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Thanks for your time. But Dennis in. Dennis is fine. Dennis? I'm here with Dennis today, and uh, he just. It, will you walk me through the fight and tell me what your take on it was exactly? Well, I. Uh, my, ground, my strength is my ground game. I uh, wrestled for a long time. I've been to plenty of jiu-jitsu tournaments um, and fared off pretty well, so my game plan in the fight was to take it to the ground. I didn't actually expect to take him down that fast. Um, it just kind of, I saw an opening, I took it, and other than that, my game plan was to put him up against the cage and punish him, and it was what I did. All right, so we had, uh, we had a, uh, a, a, a misconstruity when we were watching. Was that, was that a trip or was it a high cross? It was a trip. It was a trip. So we had a we had a trip takedown and then just some vicious, vicious ground and pound. How long did you would you say that you just practiced that part of your game for this particular fight? Um, well, it's honestly I can't tell you how long I've practiced that exact uh, thing. I didn't think it was going to go down like that. I've worked in a cage before. I've worked a lot of uh, cage tactics, and I mean it was it was kind of my game plan all along. That's like I said, my strength is my ground game. So I mean, in the in the course of the last month and a half, I've probably put in you know. Five days a week, six days a week, you know, anywhere from three to four or five hours uh, a day of work. So I say overall, if you want to add that up, uh, you tell me because I don't know how long I've been training. Well, first, I'd like to thank everyone from East Coast Fighter. That's where I'm training. Um, these are the guys. I got Paulo, he's a Brazilian black belt. James Armlin, Jim Armlin, he's a uh, the Muay Thai instructor at East Coast Fighter. and. Nelson, he's the uh, brown belt there. They've all helped me out so much. And like I said, um, I've been training overall for over two years now. I, I did wrestling all throughout high school, a little bit in college. Uh, and I've been doing jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai for, like I said, about two years now. So I'd like to thank them more than anything. Without them, I wouldn't be here. And all my training buddies back at East Coast Fighter, I want to thank you for sure. All right. So your favorite old school dance number on three. One. Two. I got nothing. You, you don't know the Charleston? No. Can I get a Charleston? All right, I'll do that. I'll give me, do give me the Charleston one time. There we go. We have the Charleston from Dennis. Go celebrate, buddy. Congratulations, man.
I'm here with the current and defending 205 pound Fight Lab champion, Mr. Brandon Beach. Yes, sir. Mr. Brandon Beach, how did you go about preparing for Mr. Fred? He, he's from South Carolina, he trains out of a real tough camp. Did you did you know anything? And was there anything you were looking for? Well, when I watched his previous fight, he's one of the guys that always sticks to wrestling. Really, really explosive takedowns. And I was trying to make sure that I use my wrestling to my advantage, hopefully to keep the fight standing or to use jiu-jitsu. All right, is that the way you saw this fight going today? I honestly thought it was going to be more of a standing battle. But, you know, uh, we got in the tussle, got a takedown, and, you know, just use jiu-jitsu. All right, so when you were, when you were out there and, and you, you, you felt that first round go out, did you feel like you, you had earned that round and you were, you were better off than he was at that yes, point? Yes, yes, definitely. Even though he ended up on top from a submission attempt, I was still striking from the bottom, establishing control, and, you know, I knew I had that round, definitely. What, was that triangle close, or? Uh, it was there, but I drilled that all the time. I mean, uh, I get in bad positions and work to get out of it. Use the technique of jiu-jitsu and just go at it. All right, so where, where, were you, where were you working out of? You got complete martial arts on the hat, but where were you working yes, out of? You well, know, who's your well we're, from, we're from Shelby, North Carolina. Team Extreme is the stable that I train with, and we train out of complete martial arts, and you know, you guys are gonna see a lot of us. All right, well look, I, I was, I was pre completely impressed with where that armbar came Thank out you, of. You did an amazing job. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of these little title defenses popping yes, up from Brandon yes, Beach. Yes, sir. Definitely. Ah, I Thank do you. appreciate it. I've got yes, one sir. question. Okay. Can you teach me how to dug it? Uh, <laughs> I, I won't teach you how to dug it. I'll teach you how to douglas. Can you teach me how to douglas right now. We can't do it on the camera. We got to do it on the camera. We can't do it on the camera. Do it on the camera. We gotta do, do it on, on the camera. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's on the camera. Come on. Tell me how we do it. How do we do it? Okay, so I'm doing two. We ain't go this way. Oh. Yeah, we gotta stop. I, I'm <laughs> white with no rhythm. Well, the game plan was we took the fight on three days' notice, and uh, it, was, it was just use jab, use leg kick, stay on the move the whole time, make him commit to me, run into my jab, which you've seen him do a lot. So right. it worked out. The leg kicks were coming back and forth, back and forth, and, and a lot of them were hard. Were, were they ever a problem on your, your, as a receiver? Actually, the first three kicks he threw hit me right in the ass, so they didn't, they didn't really hurt that bad. But uh, the punches I was landing off of the leg kicks was good, so. So how, how did how did your cardio feel? Do you feel like you're ready cardio to get five was awesome. rounds? Yeah, I was ready. I was my cardio was probably the best thing that got me through it. So I got down to ground. I didn't panic and uh, I held position pretty well. All right, now I hate to be that guy that tells you this. Hey, that's all right. But you know that 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 everybody's Mr. coming for it. That Mr. Lineberger. Yeah. Is is due up for for his his redemption. Well, if for, you guys have been paying attention. Jason Lineberger won a fight over me in October. That's what I'm telling you. Hit me with a heel hook. I was pretty much winning the fight and I got caught. But what would your opinion be on taking that fight, you know, say March or whenever his ribs getting better? Well, I would take the fight again for sure. Uh, as an amateur, my management company doesn't recommend ever fighting anybody twice as an amateur because what you do as an amateur is you learn to fight as a pro and uh, maybe one day we'll be pro and we can both battle it up so and get paid for it because we're both tough dudes. We're both in our prime at 30 years old, over 30. So, so you, it was so a great fight last time, and I look forward to doing it again. You're looking, you're looking to do it as an amateur or as a professional? Either one. I, I mean, I'd rather do it as a professional because I'm getting. I, I fought 10 fights as an amateur, and uh, I'm pretty much getting ready to turn pro soon, anyways. All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. All right, I'm here with big, tall, freakishly tall, Mr. Chris, who uh, who honestly just did work. Okay, so what what was your your entire game plan for this fight? My game plan was just dance, man. Uh, we came in, no real game plan. We 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 always train year round, all around. Muay Thai, Hammer Muay Thai, and Port City Sports Performance down in Wilmington. We train everything: Muay Thai, Jits, wrestling. If you if you're not well rounded, don't come in and fight us. Trust me. All right, now now I overheard a comment that was actually made to me. About little jits guys, you you look to have some jujitsu skills. Is that something that that you spent some time on for this fight or no? 
man, I've trained at places all over. Uh, Raleigh, Wilmington, Team Rocket Raleigh, you know, Evolution, Port City Sports Performance, um, Fitness Edge, MMA, down in South Carolina and Myrtle Beach. You, you got to go different places. You got to learn everything. That's where you pick up the little tricks, you know. And yeah, I, I mean, I got a little jits. I laugh at it, but yeah, I got a little jits in my arsenal, you know. All right, so so who who are you, Mr. Big Chris? How tall are you exactly? Hold on. I'm six five, six six. We got a six five foot Chris. Yeah. Who who is six foot five Chris looking to fight in the future for Fight Lab? I don't even know. It's just one of those deals where man, I'm gonna fight whoever it is, whoever's next. Ding ding. All right, I've got a question from Mr. Chris. Your favorite dance move. I need you to teach it to me right now. Man, I can't even teach come you on, how to come come, I'll tell you what, you come out to the club tonight? No, 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 I party. need to see it right here, right now. You, you do your favorite dance move first, and then I'll show you mine. Let's see it. Let's Will see you it. Right, if here, if no, I do mine, let's see it. Let's boom, see. boom, boom, boom. I'll see you. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh. That swag, that swag. Apparently, the kid is learning how to duggy. That's dangerous. <laughs> Well, hey, I, I do appreciate it, it buddy. Appreciate Congratulations. It. Nick the Vanilla Gorilla Smith, who has just claimed the new undisputed welterweight championship here at Fight Lab Promotions at Misery Loves Company. What, what did you look for in this fight that set, that set this one off? I just knew that I had him in the wrestling game. I knew that he couldn't stop my takedowns. I trained with a lot bigger guys than he is. I've wrestled for a long time, and I've never had someone I couldn't take down. So coming into it, that's the game plan, not to mention. Only the squad survives, man. It ain't only the strong survives. Can, you can't do this stuff by yourself. You need a good team to back you up. So I got 16150, Renegade, and The Rock MMA, baby. So has, has your training camp changed at all in, in preparation at all? Definitely. I'm training down at Renegade now. There ain't nothing but wolves at Renegade. Been getting my ass kicked down there every day. I, I knew if I got my ass kicked every day at Renegade that there was nothing he could show me in that cage. That could stop me. All right, so so your wrestling was your wrestling was just really strong, man. You lo you looked amazing. Was that arm bar he had in the first or second round? How, how close was that? It was really close. It was very tight, but I knew if I kept him pinned up and pressured that he couldn't extend his hips and he couldn't finish it. It honestly wore my arm out. By the end of the first round, my arms were shot because he held me in there and hugging on so long. It was like curling a human being with just one arm. Now, now I'm gonna tell you. The honest to God truth. That performance was, I think, the best I've seen from the Vanilla Gorilla. Do you have any idea where you want to go from here? Anywhere, man. I'm gonna do whatever Fight Lab wants to bring on to me. I'm in this sport to fight the best people and go for the competition. And I love to hit a flying triangle like my man right here in the fight. Other All right. than that, All so. Right. Who, who does Nick, the Vanilla Gorilla Smith, want to thank right now? I want to thank God, first of all. I want to thank Team Renegade, The Rock, MMA, and CrossFit for all LKN, all for them late night practices. And I gotta thank absolutely 16150 for being behind me the whole way since day one. All right, I've got, I've got one side question. What is Nick the Vanilla Gorilla's favorite dance move? Ooh, it has to be the Gorilla Walk. You've seen it in the victory, but you always gotta end it with the banana. All right, can we, no, we need to see the whole thing right now. I need to learn how to do the Gorilla Walk. You see it? Uh, we need to see it. All right, we've got Nick, the Vanilla Gorilla Smith, and the rest of his boys. We're going out. Yeah.